Welcome, come on in, welcome, 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 come on in, welcome, you guys, come on in, Mirror Periscope, Facebook, on the, on the line, three, two, one, Facebook counts down for you, good morning, everybody, good morning, good morning, trying to reconnect, good morning, good morning, come on in, Walaikum Salaam, Walaikum Salaam, come on in and share, share, share. First, share, two, introduce, three, hearts. All right, A students? All right, A students, that's what you do. First, Meerkat having some challenges, huh? Let's see if we can get Meerkat back up. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Good morning, good morning, guys. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. All right, got to be determined, got to be determined. Good morning, good morning. All right, if you're brand new, if you're brand new, put new, 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 new. If you're new, put new restream over there at Meerkat. Share there at uh, uh, Periscope. Share, share, share. Let's get to count up. Good morning, good morning. All right, Nike. Good morning, good morning, Nike. Tagba, Tagba. All right, good morning, Aaron. All right, Eric. All right, Eric from California. I buy houses, Bakerfield.com. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, my fellow investor, Nikkei, Nikkei. All right, that's how you pronounce it, Nikkei. All right, welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, make sure everybody share. Everybody share. Good morning, Facebook. Welcome to, yes, sir, thank you. Our sister, I believe it is, real small. Uh, thank you. Welcome to the money game. We're Thursday. We're Thursday in, brothers and sisters, Thursday in. We're going to get started. In about 30 seconds, make sure you share over there at Facebook Live. And when you see the subscribe button come up, go ahead and press that. Go ahead and press that and uh, and you'll get notifications when we go live, all right? All right, come on, you guys. Come on, come on, come in, come in. Restream that Meerkat. Share, share, share. Need for everybody to share at Periscope. All right, Meerkat shutting down. Need for everybody to share at Periscope, all right, because we need to get our count up real quick so we can get started. All right, because we got, you know, we got to deal with Facebook shutting down on me um, after a while. All right, all right, thank you very much for sharing, Eugene. Good morning, good morning, everybody. This is the Money Game live stream. This is where we uncover the winning rules to the money game, the winning rules to the money game. There's always two sets of rules, right? If you have haves and you have have-nots, they're operating by two sets of rules. And we are determined to share with you what I've learned over the last 30 plus years uh, in this pursuit and being trained by the best of the best when it comes to financial empowerment and wealth building. Share with you the proven rules, winning rules to the money game. Because I'm convinced and you should be convinced by now and if not, just go and do minimal study. And you'll be convinced that we as black people don't play by the rules that the highly successful play by. We don't quite understand or comprehend the rules to be successful at the money game individually for our families, as the Bible says, and, 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 and for our community. All right. So that's what the live stream is about. And if you, that's what you're about, brothers and sisters, you're at the right place. All right. Now you saw our hashtags, right? I hope you saw the hashtags. Hashtag black dollars. Hashtags black. Well, hi, Myra. Good morning. Hashtag black dollars. Hashtag black wealth. Hashtag black economy. All right. That's what we're about here uh, at the money stream, right? at the money game live stream. That's what we're focusing on. This message is geared towards those in that those hashtags. All right. No bones about it is not to exclude anybody is to include all of us in the black community. Hashtag black dollars. Hashtag black wealth. Hashtag black economy. So if that's in the in your heart, brothers and sisters, if that's in your spirit and you just don't quite tell nobody or you don't quite say it or you're not bold with it. But that's in your heart. Well, I want to congratulate you. You've made it to the right place. The money game live stream, because that's what we're about right here. All right. My name is Daryl Muhammad, real estate investor, mentor, coach, trainer, entrepreneur, networker, network marketer, uh, sales and marketing professional, have been for 30 years, online, offline, 
you name it, brothers and sisters. As it deals with entrepreneurship, you know, I've grabbed on and, 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 and you know, taken ownership of that discipline. All right. So I used to be a stockbroker, a stockbroker for six years at a major Wall Street firm where I managed millions on top of millions on top of millions of dollars of other people's money. All right. And that is the experience that really opened my eyes to reality of the money game. That is the opportunity and career that opened my mind up, my consciousness to the fact that people are playing by two rules. Those who have not are playing by one set of rules and those who have are playing by another set of rules. And to a, to a great extent, those that, are, those that have and playing by the success rules of the money game, they kind of keep it, you know, they keep it to themselves. They keep it in a tight group. You know, we have to we have to identify it and penetrate it. And that's what I was able to do as a financial advisor there. They were called at the time stockbrokers as the stockbroker. I was able to get on the inside, look around and saw what it was that made those that win consistently. Right. Make consistent that win consistently from those who do not win consistently. And that's what we're sharing here on uh, the Money Game live stream. All right, brothers and sisters. So if you if you like this conversation, if you want to be a part of it more intimately, we're putting together a small uh, select group, a small community. But if you want to be a part of that community, individuals that's about taking action, individuals about putting their money where their mouth is, because that is a success rule to the Money Game. You don't talk about it. You be about it and you back it with your money. All right. So go to DarylMuhammad.net, hit one of the blog posts and put your information there at the bottom where it says a VIP list and you'll be notified of you'll be notified of a private event, live events that we're going to start having here uh, very shortly. When I get back from Cancun at uh, the beginning of next week, we're going to start planning and start giving you the exact dates of either a conference call and or a private webinar, right? Just for those that are serious and want to take action, right? Want to put their money where their mouth is. Now, if you're not quite there yet, right? If that's not quite, all right, appreciate the thumbs up. If that's not quite where you are, that's okay, right? Continue to look until you've seen enough. All right, here's how you can follow me on, on, on the social media platforms. It's Daryl Muhammad, right? Daryl Muhammad, just like you see spelt there, two R's, two L's. M-U-H-A-M-M-A-D. Periscope, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, what else? Blab.im. And here is the latest and the greatest. Snapchat. Snapchat, brothers and sisters. Make sure you go to Snapchat because starting next week, I'm going to start giving away some of the treasures that I have in my treasure chest of things that I've accumulated over the last 30 years. Money making you know, strategies and ideas that I've gotten over the last 30 years. Some I've bought, some was given to me, but I'm going to give them to you. All right. I'm going to give them to you, but you have to uh, connect with me on Snapchat, Snapchat, Daryl Muhammad there at Snapchat. Okay. All right. If you want to contact me, brothers and sisters, I'm open, you know, to, to deliver this message in our community. We can do, I, you know, I can talk to your sales organization, your network marketing organization, youth uh, that, that you are, you know, helping with, you're organizing, you're trying to, to, to help guide, right? Or just a conference that you're having as it pertains to uh, home-based business or economic development, particularly for our community. Reach out to me at Daryl at DarylMuhammad.net. Daryl at DarylMuhammad.net. Dot net. That's where you can can reach me and then we'll we'll hook up or you can go to DarylMuhammad.net here. Con hit contact me, put in inf information. It'll come to me. All right. I don't charge an honorarium. I don't charge a speaking fee, which means I can come to your town and participate in your function. Right. For free. It doesn't cost you anything. All right. So that with that being said, brothers and sisters, let's go ahead and get started. Those of you who are with us for the first time, we are here Monday through Friday at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. Central Standard Time to deliver the money game live stream, the money game live stream. Right. And on Mondays, we have money mindset Mondays, Tuesdays. We have tactical Tuesdays. 
Thursdays we I'm sorry Wednesdays we have everything money everything money question and answer Wednesdays and then Thursdays today we have tactical Thursdays right tactical Thursdays the one two threes the ABCs the step 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 steps that you can can't that you can uh, follow right what they say color the numbers okay and then Friday tomorrow we will have what we call freedom Friday freedom Friday where we talk about freedom and include financial freedom, all right? Because we as black people been here 460 years. I think we've got distracted from our ultimate goal when we got here, right? When we got here, the day we got here to the shores of America as slaves, you can rest assured many of us were thinking about escaping. We were thinking about freedom. We want freedom, right? We don't want a big house. We don't want to live in the master's house, right? That's something they created, right? It's field slave, house slaves. But when we got over here, we always had the, the idea of freedom. So we got to get back to that because that's a very, very, very powerful force is freedom. All right. So that's what we have on Fridays, freedom Fridays. We talk about freedom and financial freedom. So that being said, all the housekeeping out of the way, we just want to go about 10, 15 minutes. All right. I heard a saying years ago, a wise man speaks in brevity. Meaning short, you know, says a lot in, in very few words, right? And the only way you and I can become wise, we have to feed on wisdom, right? So all these big, thick books that's this thick, right? Then it might be a little too much, <laughs> right? I'm sure there's a way of breaking it down. Sometime it has to, good morning, Cheryl. Good, uh, a lot of times it has to be thick just so it can be broken down into many, many pieces so, you know, the majority of the people can understand it. All right. But still, a wise man speaks in brevity. So if we want to be wise. We have to be able to read uh, wise people's brief words. Right. And have the intelligence to dive down into them. So now we can digest their wisdom and become wise. So today is Tactical Thursdays where we cover one, two, three, four, five steps, things to do, because a lot of folks just, you know, analytical, just give me the stuff to do. I'm an engineer. I'm, you know, I just want it. And I'm like that too, to be honest with you. I don't like a lot of stories, but I'm changing, right? Uh, fool changes never and a wise man changes often. So ABCs, one, two, three. So today we want to talk about these three things, these three things. These are three things, brothers and sisters, that you and I have to have to understand and we have to know about life insurance. All right. That's one of the topics that most people don't like because when you say life insurance, you're talking about death. Right. But we need to look at it a little bit more differently. Right. We need to take the emotions out of the money game. We need to take the emotions out of winning at the money game. The excitement comes after the victory. Right. You see the professional basketball player. You see Kobe Bryant last night go for 60. They celebrate after either after the shot or after the quarter or after the game, but it's after, right? It's after, it's after they've reached some, you know, some level of success, right? So we have to take the emotion out of the money game. Got to take the emotion out of the rules to the money game and just play by the rules, play by the rules. Okay. So here, are these three things you need to know about life insurance. These are not all the things you need to know. But from my experience as a financial advisor, these are the things that most people don't know. They don't understand. So therefore, they can't maximize. They can't. Good morning, Trina. They can't maximize, uh, you know, the, the use of insurance. Go ahead and uh, share it. You guys over there, Facebook Live, go ahead and share it. And when the subscribe pops up, go ahead and hit it. And then you'll be notified of all the other uh, live streams we're going to have. All right. And we're going to have them some on weekends. And we're just going to build this thing up as we get through some of these technical difficulties that we've been having here. So we're working through those issues. So three things that you and I need to know about life insurance. These three things, all right, write them down. Write them down. Everything starts with the purpose. What is the purpose of life insurance? What is the purpose? It's hard to use a screwdriver if we don't understand the purpose of a screwdriver, right? So we have to understand what is the purpose of it before we just take a position on it, good, bad, or indifference, we need to understand what is the purpose of life insurance? Why was it creative? 
created. And very simply, and I'm going to share some basic stuff with you. I mean, I know they've, they've, they've come up with all kind of different types of insurance and, you know, so I'm giving us the basics, right? You heard me say it before, and I'm striving to master the basics, master the basics. Don't be so quick to get into the sophisticated uh, level of things. Master the basics. All right. Master these basic success rules to the money game. Master those and then you can apply it to something sophisticated. We just want to get it like like, you know, it reminds me like a child, right? A child when they just get a new toy on Christmas morning, they open up. They're so excited. Right. They're so excited. They open up their, their present and, and and they won't let the mom and dad show them how it goes. I got it. I know. I know. I know how it works. I know how it works. Right. Or you show them a little while. OK, OK, I got it. I got it. They just want to play with it. Right. And that's how we are many times with new knowledge. We get new knowledge. Right. And we think we got it. OK, OK, I got it. I got it. I don't need no help anymore. I don't need. It. OK, thank you, Daryl. OK, thank you. OK, good, good. Now let me go out and make some money. We have to master the fundamentals. Right. So what is the purpose of life insurance? Very simply, brothers and sisters, the purpose of life insurance is to replace income. Replace the income from the individual that passed away, right? That died, right? So it's to replace the income. So the way that it works is if you don't have enough income saved up, right? Or your investment folio doesn't kick off enough cash to replace your income, your earned income from working, then you should seriously consider life insurance. Life insurance is to replace income. That is lost from a, a wage earner or an income earner at death. Now, if you don't have any family, if you don't have any children, if you don't have any. Hey, thank you, brother Aaron, for putting that in there. If you don't have anything to leave behind or have, you know, don't care about anybody to leave behind, then you may not need insurance. Right. You may not need insurance. All right. You may just need enough to bury you or to cremate you, even though I don't believe in cremation. Right. But you, you, you don't need insurance. But if you want to leave somebody something, if you want to leave a family member, so, you know, a replacement, an income replacement, then that's what insurance does. Right. Like I said, I know there's all kind of twists and turns and and I'm going to go into some more information. Yeah, Daryl. But we're talking about the basic purpose of life insurance is to replace income from uh, from the individuals or from from the individual that passed away. You're leaving it for your beneficiaries, all right? Get with a financial specialist, get some books, read about insurance. I do like insurance. I do believe in insurance, right? Because you should have somebody that you care enough about, right? That will miss not just you physically, but also miss everything that attaches to you, which also includes income, right? Very wealthy people and those that I used to work with uh, when as a stockbroker, they use insurance for a lot of other things, sophisticated things. See, once again, understand the basic, use it for the basic. Then as your financial situation sophisticates, now insurance plays a different role. All right. Don't worry about, yeah, but what about taxation and all that, you know, basic stuff. All right. So number two, there's two types of life insurance. Two. How many types? Two types. How many types? Two types of life insurance. One, which became popular in the last 30 years, it's called term life insurance. And number two is called whole life. I know there's universal and all this other kind of stuff. We're talking about the basic term and whole life. Term basically means you have a 20 year term life insurance, right? You, you pay it for 20 years. It only covers you for 20 years. Meaning if you die within that 20 years, then the insurance pays off. After the 20 years, you don't have any insurance anymore. You're not paying any more premiums. So you, you, that's it, right? That's term. Now, often term is used as an investment strategy, all right? A very popular gentleman who I followed was part of his company years ago, A.L. Williams, right? A.L. Williams started a company, and that's, that was a strategy where you buy term and the difference you would invest in mutual funds. So it's used primarily as, as, um, as an investment strategy. Now you can use it
for some other things, but that's, like I said, that's more sophisticated, right? We're talking about the basic use of insurance, the three, these three things you need to know about life insurance, all right? Life insurance, brothers and sisters, is a way of perpetuating wealth, right? This is hashtag black dollars, hashtag black wealth, hashtag black economy, right? Hashtag black economy. See, so we have to think, how can I perpetuate wealth? How can I perpetuate my years of earning? Does it all go away when I die? You have some people, individuals who understand that, who have put things in place, black, white, and of all kind, right? Have put things in place to whereas their money now is outlived them two and three generations. Okay, uh, Reginald Lewis, the first black billionaire, not Bob Johnson, Reginald Lewis, the first black biz, uh, billionaire in America. His family is still living off of money that he made several years, decades ago. He's, I don't know how to find his book and tell you, you know, when he passed away. All right. But that's what we have to understand. So that's term. And term can be used for some other sophisticated strategies. But. Oh, yes, right. Baltimore's own. That's right. Reginald Lewis. That's right, Aaron. All right. So that's number two. All right. Two types of insurance term. And then they have what they call whole life. Right. Whole life insurance. That's probably one that we're most familiar with. You've had, of course, term uh, life insurance. Talk bad about whole life. Whole life. Talk bad about about term life. We have to understand, but insisted there's a purpose in which something was created. So we have to understand that purpose. And then we have to look at how does it, does it, does it work for me? Can I use it? Does it serve my purpose? Right? You just don't say whole life is bad. Term is good. Whole life is good. Term is bad. That both of those are true, right? Whole life is bad. If it doesn't do what you need for it to do. And term is bad. If it doesn't do what you need for it to do. So the question is, what do I need for it to do, right? How does it fit my, my personal investment strategy, right, and temperament, right? For example, whole life, right, you pay the premium for your entire life, but you have life insurance for your entire life, and whole life has a, has a savings component to it, meaning some of your premium the, the insurance company saves and may pay you, it yeah, does pay you a little interest on it. So you have what they call cash value. I'm not going into that a whole lot now. We'll save that for our private live events for those that are with us at DarylMuhammad.net. But just understand this much, the basics, right? The basic is reading and writing and arithmetic, just the basics, right? So it builds up a savings. Now that's good, if you have challenges with savings, that's good to have it as another savings plan. That's good if you just want seed capital later on, right? That's good because there's restrictions and penalties and things of that nature that's associated with tapping into that savings. That doesn't make it bad. That just means you have to be have a thought out strategy, right? As long as the money you're making, you make it at a higher percentage then what it's costing you, that's good money. Did you get that? Hopefully, you did. I mean, that's a, that's a rule. That's a winning rule to the money game, right? I would borrow money and have borrowed money as a, as a real estate investor. I have borrowed money at 18%. Simple interest, 18%. Oh, I wouldn't pay that because you don't understand. I'm making 25, 30%. 40% on my on, on on that 18%. Right? So long as the money you're making, the return on the money you're making, the ROI, the return on investment, is a greater percent than the cost of your money, borrow that money all day long. Borrow as much as you can. Right? That is a winning rule, a major key, as DJ Khaled said, right? That's a major key. To winning at the money. That's a major winning rule. All right. That's right. ROI greater than cost. Very good. All right. So that's what you need to do, brother. So this whole life term in term, you can use it as a savings account, as a forced savings account. Because the truth of the matter is most of us, most of us 
don't have the discipline, right, to do what we haven't been trained to do on our own. We need some help. We need some assistance. We need a system, right, to where we just invest in the system will take the next step for us, which would be savings and put it put a little interest on it. All right. These are three. These three things you and I need to know about life insurance. All right. Number one, the purpose of life insurance. Number two, the two types of life insurance. And number three, how much do I need? How much do I need? How much insurance do I need? Right. How much insurance do I need? OK. Well, that's based on how many more years do you plan on earning an income? That's number one. How many, how many more years do you plan on earning an income? I'm 51. You know, at least another 20 years that I want to have have to, you know, have a, you know, have a purpose. You know what I'm saying? Get up and put in the effort. Right. At least another 20 years. So number three. Right, Aaron. Three. How much do I need? That's based on how many more years you plan to actively work. Even as an entrepreneur, you actively working. Right. Or how better yet, how many more years you plan on generating the income? How about that? For those of us that, you know, oh, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make all my money residual. All right. How many years you plan on? Hey, good morning. Good morning, Styles. Good to see you. All right. So how many more years you plan on making money? Then number two is how much money do you plan to make during that period of time? Right. How much money? 30, 40, 50,000 years for the next 20 years, or it's going to escalate, or, or I should say, yeah, escalate, increase, but you do it on a piece of paper. These are projections. Nobody knows what the future holds, right? They say the number one uh, reason for failure is people plan to, fail to plan, right? So you plan out how much money you plan to make in that duration of time. So how much do I need is based on how many more years you plan on having, you know, working for money, all right, doing something, no matter how little or how much time you spend, all right? And then how much money you plan to, to make over that period of time, right? That will determine the minimum, listen to what I said, that will determine the minimum amount of insurance you need. You have to factor in inflation, you have to factor in, you know, sickness, you know, and things of that nature for those that are, that are you know, come behind you, your beneficiaries, right? Did you factor in your children's college, right? They might be college age, all right? Or your grandchildren. So you, that's the minimum number that you need. That's the minimum. And you know, here at the money at the money game, one of the winning rules to winning at the money game is what? Don't let your minimum become your maximum. So says Holton Bugs, right? So that's another winning rule to the, to the money game. You can't win if you're gonna focus on the minimum. But that is the minimum number. So you times that by two, times that by three, and you purchase that amount of life insurance. All right. So those are the three things. Now, here's the bonus. I always like to, you know, give you a bonus. So number four is the three things you need to know about life insurance. You guys can watch it on the replay there at Facebook Live and uh, Periscope. You got 24 hours to watch it, right? 24 hours to watch it. And please share, share, share over there. You guys share, share, share. And also, uh, you can give them a little thumbs up and whatever they got at the bottom of the screen there to let us know you're liking the content. And meet me at DarylMuhammad.net. Meet me at DarylMuhammad.net. Yeah, that's about to shut down Facebook, all right? So number four is, number four is you need to know the financial strength of the insurance company. You need to know how strong they are on their rated A, triple A, double A, that kind of stuff. But you need to know how strong... The, the financial strength of that insurance company is and do they pay their claims? What percentage of their claims do they, do they pay out, right? Every insurance company, there goes Facebook, every insurance company takes, takes premiums, but every insurance company don't pay claims, right? They can't, right? Because there's fraud. And anywhere there's money, there's fraud, all right? And no people fraud insurance companies every day. Some people are in the business of insurance fraud. So the insurance company has to look out for their best interest and the interest of their policy holders. Because if they're not financially strong, then they won't be able to pay you or your claim, right? Or their delay. And if something happens to you and your family needs money, they probably need it pretty quick. So you don't need to be around here three years trying to get money. By that time, they already lost a house, right? By that time, they had to take the children out of private school, put them in public school, right? 
So another rule, caveat rule, winning rule to the money game. I learned this from a brother years ago in the mosque. A, a fast nickel is better than a slow dime, right? Money is only as good as its relevancy. Money is only as good as its timeliness, right? What good is $10 if it comes the day after I've lost my car, the day after I've lost my house, right, that I'm living in, right? What good is that $10? What good is that $100, right? So money is only as good as relevant, as relevant it is, timely, right? The amount, right? And all these other dynamics, brothers and sisters, all these other dynamics, all right? I think you know what I'm going to do? I don't know. I think I'm going to upgrade my tablet, my iPad to another one. I think it may be the Rams or ROMs or whatever, but when I get back from Cancun, I'm going to take it back over there to the store, the Apple store, because they need to figure that out for me, all right? So, Brendan says, those are the three things you need to know about life insurance with the bonus, meaning the financial strength and payout of that insurance company, all right? So, Brendan says, if there's any questions, go ahead and put them in right now. If there's any questions, yeah, my connection is too weak. That's what it's saying over there, Meerkat. So, something about my connection here in the house. All right, so go ahead and put in your questions. Any questions that you have, brothers and sisters, go ahead and put them in right now. Those are the three things that you need to know about life insurance. I think life insurance is good. I think uh, we should have it until we can become what the wealthy people are, and they call that self-insured, self-insured, right? Get your, get your affirmation card, brothers and sisters. Quit playing with this thing, right? Quit playing with this thing. Another winning rule of the money game is quick, right? They say in Napoleon Hill's book, highly successful people make decisions quickly and they change them slow, right? Everybody else does it up the opposite. Think about it forever, right? And it's just a habit. This thing costs what, eight, nine, ten dollars? How long are you going to think about ten dollars? How long are you going to think about ten dollars? See, that's, an A student doesn't do that. Right? An A student understands the value of time, the value of speed, the value of response. Right? Quick nickel, slow dime. Right? The value of speed. How fast do you want to return on your money? The answer is right now. That's how fast. Right? See, so we understand speed when it's getting. But we, we slow to understand anything when it's giving. All right? That's why the scripture says better to give than receive because receiving is natural. Giving is something that we have to we have to process. Right. We have to determine if that's what we want to do. All right. Any questions, brothers and sisters? Any questions? If not, we're going to go because we're at the bottom of an hour. We're making good time on these. And I'm, and I'm happy because I come to you in the middle of the day. Now, when we do our blab uh, stream on Saturday, we'll probably go we'll go an hour. All right. We'll go an hour a little bit longer because that'll be on the weekend. And we're shooting for Saturday morning because uh, weekends are good. But, you know, people get in that weekend mode, right? Another winning rule of the money game. You dictate the days of the week and what is done. Not the society. Oh, it's today's Saturday. I'm not supposed to work on Saturday. Oh, today's Saturday. I'm supposed to just rest all day. What is an annuity? That's a good question. Annuity is insurance policy. It's a form of insurance policy where it includes not, it, it doesn't, it doesn't, uh, it, it's not a savings plan, it invests. So a portion of your premium for an annuity um, goes towards your death benefit and then uh, the other goes in either into something fixed but higher than a whole life policy or it goes into the stock market, right? It's, it's an S&P index annuity. Right. And I believe and I have to refresh my memory, but I believe an annuity you only pay into it for a certain period of time. And then it annuitizes. Right. And then it annuitizes. Oh, and nothing about an annuity is it pays out, you know, it, it pays out for an extended period of time. Right. Death, life insurance in a very, very basic form. If it's two hundred thousand dollars, when you die, you get two hundred thousand. Right. You get two hundred thousand and annuity being that it's is connected to a, a, a money market account that pays higher than any other savings plan or the stock market. 
you get whatever the value of the policy is, right? Which means the, the face value and the investment, you get that paid out. Or at minimum, you'll get the death benefit paid out. All right. Good question. You, you brought back some annuity stuff out of my out of my mind from what's that? Ninety six. All right. They keep pushing living. Yeah. It, it is it worth living revocable trust? Is it worth it? Yeah, brother. Everything's worth it. It depends on what you're using it for. You first have to what? Understand the purpose of a living revocable trust. Right. And and you and you and you strategize and you use something to its purpose. Right. Living revocable trust, living revocable trust. Know that all trusts are separate entities. Anytime you put something in a trust. It is separate from the individual. Right. It's separate from me. If I started a trust. Right. And I put money in my trust it's separate from me. One of the major benefits of a trust and anytime you separate something from yourself, you separate yourself or it from any liability that you have. Right. So, for example, this house that I own here. Right. If I put that in a living revocable trust, that means the trust owns this house. Right. That means if I hit somebody with my car, right, vehicular manslaughter and they die and they sue me. This house won't be included in my assets because the trust owns the house. Now, revocable means you can always change it versus a, a, a irrevocable trust. All right. You can change it. Irrevocable trust. You got to shut it down and, you know, start it all over again. So hopefully I answered your question, uh, 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 Aaron. And that's once again, that's sophisticated stuff. Right. So the question is, do we have basic insurance? No, I don't. I just want to know about living irrevocable trust. I mean, get the basic insurance, right? Master the basics. But to answer your question, that's what it is. Because you might have asked that question for somebody else. All right. Any other questions, brothers and sisters? Any other questions? All right. Insurance. Three things you need to know about insurance. Three things you need to know about insurance. Wealthy people use insurance as, as investment strategies. They use insurance to offset their uh, estate tax when they die. They have an insurance policy. That is why I stuck with term. Well, I mean term, but what happens? What happens after term, Aaron, right? 20 years from now, your investments, you don't have as much net worth as you thought you were going to have when you took it out 20 years ago. So that plan didn't work, Right. So what do you do now? You're 20 years older. You might have health issues, right? And you're older. So that means now you go out to get more term or go out to get whole life. Now it's going to cost you more because one, you're older and two, your health might not be. you right. And, and, you know, at the best for that age. See what I'm saying? So what do you do? Well, you're forced to buy either term or whole life. Now you're going to pay more than what you would have if you would have bought whole life. So what some people do is they do what? They buy term and they buy life, whole life or an annuity. Right. Another rule to the winning, winning rule to the money game is what? If you have two real good ideas, you don't choose either or you choose and and both. Right. You choose and and both. Educate us on properly purchasing life insurance. Many don't purchase enough. Yeah, I just told you. I just did it. I just did it. Just watch the replay. You need to understand the purpose of life insurance. Right? You need to, you know, how many years, you, how much do you need? And what was the third one? Or uh, the other one? All right. So that's what you need to do. Two types of insurance. Purpose of insurance, two types of insurance, and how much do I need? It's all the education you need, right? It's all the education you need. You may want more. It doesn't hurt to know more, but that's all you need. How much do I need? What is the benefit and purpose of term? What's the benefit and purpose of whole life? And it's not either or, it's both. And and both, right? You always have to have an and and both. Some people believe what? Don't have no plan B. 
is is in that works. Yeah, that mean that puts a whole lot more pressure on you. Right? That puts a whole lot more pressure. So if that's your approach, then hey, ro roll with it. Right? But if you if you're more inclined to and in both, where you win both ways, hey, roll with it. Alright? Any other questions? Any other questions? Thank you, brothers and sisters. Good questions. But I say get insurance, brothers and sisters. Get insurance. Get insurance. Rich people also, what they do is they leave it to charity. I think Warren Buffett say he's not going to hardly give any of his children any money. But what does that mean to a to a, a person that's worth $30 billion? No money to them might be $100 million, right? But he said most of his money is going to charity. And from what I heard or read, most of it's going to Bill Gates' charity. Right? See how they give money back and forth to each other? You, what you call that? You call that circulating of the dollar, right? Call that circulating of the dollar. Right? So you and I got to circulate the dollar, all right? Brothers and sisters, get your freedom paper. Black owned, operated paper distribution company. Get it. Freedompapercompany.com. AbleNetwork.com. Economicblueprint.org. All of those that are participating, right? I need for you to post up on Facebook. Any product that you had that you bought from a black owned uh, company, all right? Post that on your Facebook page and tag me, all right? Now, we want to give credit what credit's due, as the old folks say. You know what I'm saying? You don't get, you can't pass class, brothers and sisters, with a, even with a C, by just coming to class. Where they do that at, right? I used to hear the athletes that I, you know, I played sports. Yep, they're in Baltimore. Absolutely, I used to hear, um, I used to hear them, uh, the athletes that I played sports with. Right, used to tell, why, why am I getting a D? Why I'm getting a C minus? I came to class every day. So a lot of us are like that. I show up to the live stream every day. I, I ain't see no change in my, in my, in my, in, in my situation yet. I mean, you know. Remember, in formal education, the results is your grade. The result is your graduation. The re result is your tassel that you switch over to the other side. Your results are it. Other than that, you gets nothing. You gets no pat on the back. You gets no diploma. You gets no certificate of completion. You get no medal. You gets no certificate. Right? Your result is all you get when it comes to informal education and when it comes to playing the money game and playing it to win. Your winning is, is what you get. All right? So any other questions? Any questions? Put them in, put them in, put them in, because I got to go. Right? Say yes, say no. Hurry, because I got to go. Any other questions? Any other questions, brothers and sisters? Snapchat. You better get on Snapchat. You better connect with me on Snapchat. A students follow instructions. If it doesn't conflict with your religion, if it doesn't conflict with your ethics and your morals, if it doesn't conflict with, with your belief system, what's the hold up? I ain't got no money. Well, that's the reason why you need to buy it. I learned that when I used to go to those real estate seminars years ago, 30 years ago. It's, it, just, it stuck with me. At the end of the you know free seminar in the hotel, Go to the back of the room and sign up and people still sitting there. And he said it. Those that can't, where do we purchase it? Uh, DarylMuhammad.net. 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 It'll be right there on the right-hand side. Thank you for asking. All right, let me read one to you. So he used to tell the people, he said, if you can't afford to buy this real estate program, you're the one who needs it the most. I'm like, wow, that's powerful. And that is true. That's why the rich get richer and the poor gets poorer. Because the rich knows what to invest their money on and the poor don't have a clue. So it seems unfair, but it's not really unfair. The universe is established in justice. The universe is never unfair because God established it and God is not unfair. So if you and I don't have what we want, it's because we're not following the rules that God has established for success. It's just that simple. Right. So here's one. Be willing to do what's hard. This is one of my favorites. Be willing to do what's hard. If you're only willing to do what's easy, 
life will be hard. But if you're willing to do what's hard, life will be easy. Brothers and sisters, get these cards. Even got drawings on them. Get support or create a team. How about that one? That's T. Harbecker right there. Think long term. Decide that money is important. Money ain't the most important thing. Money can't buy you happiness. Rebuke that kind of thinking. Rebuke that. When you hear it publicly, you rebuke it publicly. Oh, poor people say that. Rebuke it. Embrace responsibility. You and I have to be responsible, brothers and sisters, for our financial wherewithal. Not the government. Oh, you go, you know, free college for everybody. You don't want that. You want the money. Give me the money. Let me decide what I want to do with it. Says when they say they can't afford it, pitch them something. Uh, I don't know. I missed that one. Focus on your net worth. Get financially educated. Think big and act big. Develop the characteristic of success. Think rich and act rich, right? Think rich so you can help others. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Help others. Help others. You got to share the stream. You're helping others. All right? Get clear on what you want. What's the purpose of life insurance? What do you want it to do? All right? Expect to succeed. We covered that the other day, right? Expect. People, des people feel that they deserve to be successful. Highly successful people feel that they deserve it. It's their right. Their God-given right. Play the money game to win. There you go. Let's end with that one. Play the money game to win. Get your cards, brothers and sisters. A students spend more money on books than they do on anything else. Oh, yeah. Do you hear the books that I ordered I couldn't remember the other day? One is uh, The Power of Broke by Damon John, right, of FUBU, right? And the other one is what? Uh, I told you, BET, the history of Bob Johnson in BET, right? It's, you know, we have to, we talk about the knowledge of self. Well, that's part of self. Your black owned business, the largest black television media network prior to Oprah. And all we know is he's, man, he sold out. He sold out to them white folks. He sold out to Viacom. Now, now BET ain't, ain't the same no more. Right. I didn't I didn't agree. I didn't chime in with everybody else. You you chime in with everybody else. brothers and sisters, You go end up like everybody else. Right. It's just that simple. It's not rocket science. Bob Johnson never did say he was a civil rights leader. He never did say that, you know, I'm about black people. He never did say that. He said, I'm a businessman. I'm a, just a black businessman. Right. Businessmen. Buy or develop assets to sell for profit. That's like me and be in real estate, right? And you all get mad at me because I sold my, my real estate portfolio. I bought it to build wealth for me and my family, right? And to provide a product or service to the marketplace. And you mad because I'm selling it? Why don't you do it? It's not Bob Johnson's fault that we weren't inspired enough by him to go out and, and, and start more television stations. See, that's what we're suffering with from black as black people. We put our responsibility on somebody else. Bob Johnson didn't sign up for that. We can't let we, we he can't let his blessing be a curse because we don't understand. Why don't we be like the Hispanics? How many TV stations do they have? Right. Moon, uh, Telemundo. They got four or five television stations. So if they sell one, oh, OK, well, we got three more left. Right. We had BET. Then we finally came with TV one. Now we only got TV one that's black owned, And that might not be all the way black on the way we do stuff. You understand what I'm saying, brother? It was an inspiration, brothers and sisters, for us to say, if he can do it, I can do it. I want to go out and start a television station. Right. That's what that's for. And we got little little ones here and there popped in little markers and covering, you know, just a geographical area on the net, on the cable network. Because there's one that I, a brother that I know here in Houston that's part of one. Right. But we talking about in comparison. Right. Right. On the larger scale, like Telemundo and the other four or five other Hispanic TV stations. That's for you and I to do, brother and sister. Take responsibility. Bob Johnson wasn't just thinking about himself and his family when he built BET. He was building it for something greater than just him and his family. Don't you know his wife, his ex-wife, is one of the wealthiest black people in America? 
Why? Because she got half of what he had. Right? So, so, so that's what it's all about. That's winning at the money game. That's winning at the money game. You can't win at the money game making the minimum your maximum. I'm just going to look out for me and my. Everybody look out for themselves. That's losing. You just lost. Right? So we're talking about ourselves, our family, and our black community. With that being said, brothers and sisters, we're 45 minutes after. No more questions. Thank you for being here. Tomorrow is Freedom Friday. We pray that you'll be back tomorrow. We pray that you'll watch the replay and you'll share it, share it, share it, and give hearts, hearts, hearts. Hearts means love. Hearts mean I care. If you don't share, you don't care. Sharing is caring. All right? All right, meet me at DarylMuhammad.net. Get ready. I'm excited when I get back from Cancun. Uh, we're going full speed ahead. I'm getting all my stuff in my tripod so I can put up all my different uh, uh, devices. And we're going to start having live talks. Live talks on Saturdays. We're going to come hard with some content, flip chart, the whole nine yards, right? And then we're going to have a, something to offer you, right, for those action takers, to put your money where your mouth is. All right. So as always, brothers and sisters, we'll see you at the top, not from the top, because you, your family, but most importantly, our community deserves your very best. We'll see you tomorrow, God willing, for Freedom Friday.